guys, Zol here. This is a tutorial on how to calculate the uh, cut off level of pulse. So, my intended audience for this particular tutorial are those uh, junior civil engineer who had just started the uh, new projects. So, those who have been assigned to work out the uh, cut off level of pulse. And even those uh, senior engineer, I'm sure you have done it before, but uh, it has been a long time since you last work on the, this kind of projects. So it's gonna be like a one EF. Either way, uh, I hope uh, it's gonna be useful for either senior or junior. So I think without further ado, we can just uh, jump right into it, shall we? Hey, all right, so our before we start working the uh, uh, projects, uh, let me introduce the uh, uh, project that I have for work on. So uh, this is uh, a building, or uh, I should say banker. So this is where the clients store all these uh, raw material, like uh, uh, various size of greater stone, for them to, or you know, produce the uh, export uh, framework. All right, this is a building I'm using as an uh, example for this tutorial. So I uh, include, so including this building, are, this is not the uh, entire project. This is just part of the uh, projects, right? So this is a very simplest way. Why I choose this building? Because very simple to work out the uh, couple level. That's why I choose this. All right, so so in order for us to uh, the walk out the cut all level, we will need uh, a couple of drawings. Of course, we will need archi drawing, uh, and then we will need the uh, stretcher drawings. Okay, finally, uh, we will have the planet outcome. It's gonna be like uh, right here. This is a table that we are to submit to consultant for approvals. So uh, right here, I have written down and uh, in a red color, this is a cut off level that we need. So by the way, what is that? Uh, what's exactly cut off level? So, uh, the in short, in in short, the cut off level, you know, that the the mini set you just cut off cut off level. This is a pile, pile. Then you just uh, drive it in, then. And well, we need to cut off in order for us to build up the pine cut. All right, so so that that well, this uh, cut for level comes in. So after we cut off, it's gonna be like uh, right here. So it's gonna it's gonna be like here. So this is uh, exactly uh, this cut off level right here. Yeah, this is a cut off level. This is a cut off level. All right. So let's just uh, start work on it. So uh, we will need the uh, drawing. Where uh, I think let we just walk on the backwards. So what we need if, in order for us to or you know, so this is like a guideline. So this is a, a computer project. So for us to easy to or uh, walk on. Sometimes it's it's or uh, it's it's not uh, so easy to walk on from you know our start to the end. So so uh, if we reverse it from from completion to our you know beginnings, so it's it's uh, much easier. I find it much easier, at least for me, it's true. So are we gonna walk out from the uh, completion to the beginning? All right. So what I had completed is that this is uh, uh, this is the table that uh, we had completed that we had submitted to the consultant and we have uh, uh, obtained the approvals. All right. So. This column, particularly this column right here, is the our main key point. So cutout level we got here. How we come up with this cutout level? So first thing we all we will need to know about the finish level. Where we can have the finish level? Where we can find out this finish level? Of course, we can find out from the archi drawing. So let me open it, this archi drawing. So our this particular area. This the whole floor is a totally flex. So 105.025. 105.025, the buildings, uh, where is our building itself? Mm. Preparation, I think uh, inside the preparation banker. So you see this, the whole, uh, the whole floor. 
is uh, the whole floor. It's a one o five five o two five. One o five five o two five. This uh this the whole floor. Yeah. This the whole floor. Yeah. Then uh we go back to our submission. Uh not right here. We go back to our submission our table. Yeah. So we will need the uh, uh FFL finish floor level. Finish floor level we can get from the archive drawings. It could be our uh, anything the AutoCAD or you know the approved uh, archive drawing. Then as a son for this particular case, that's why I choose this uh, very uh, uh simple uh building uh, which is called a uh, banker, right? So uh, this floor doesn't have any uh floor finish. So SSL and the FFL is the same. So very easy. So everything is the same FFL and SSL all are both are the same. Then uh, we will need the uh, slab depth, right? So where we can have the uh, slab depth. Slab that then we can uh, uh, walk on the archi drawing. Or uh, sorry, this slab that we can uh, uh, find out from the structure drawings. Where is the structure drawing? Where is this slab thickness right here? Okay, so we are looking at this uh, only this portion. This is a banker. So you can see here, yeah, slab thickness is our uh, two two five right here. Right, two two five. So we can get from our uh, so our uh, zoom to our page level actual size. Okay, so we go back to our where is this? Um, right here. Okay, so our slot that we can uh, get from the our uh, structure drawing. Uh, also, uh, being that right, so also everything uh, being that and we're that 1.425, everything we can walk out from the uh, structure drawings. Then, after that, we can uh, we should have the pine cult depth, depth of the pine cult, so we can get the one of the uh, structure drawings. So, right here, um, here, so the depth for the uh, 2p400. So two p meet are uh, uh, pine groups, two piles. Uh, the pine side is a four hundred x. So our uh, the pine that is a one uh, one meter. Uh, for three p four hundred, for three p four hundred, the uh, uh, depth is at one zero five zero, and then uh, for four p four hundred, the uh, depth is a one meter, and three p three five zero is a one zero five zero. So um we go back to here. So our pine cut that we, we can have from the structure drawing and many services. You know, there's the beauty of our uh, you know sim our uh, simple uh building. So we don't have to consider anything about these uh, many services. If you have any many services, you need to minus off, you need to take into account for these uh, many services, right? So it could be anything like uh, uh, rainwater down pipes, uh, electric pipe, underground pipes. So, so you need to uh, cater for it. So this abandoned depth in 0 0.075 where we got from. So this is as this is from very uh, fast page of the uh, structure drawings. So let me uh, zoom in. So our uh, here 75. So this is where we got from. So uh, we gonna cut off right here, All right? So that's why we need this seventy five. So then we got these uh, cut off levels. So that's all we need. So we what we need are uh, we only need FFL, SSL for this particular case. We only need FFL because FFL and FFL is the same. Uh, we will need the slab slab depth. The the information we need slab depth, then beam depth, and the depth of the uh, pine. Cup. If there is many services uh, running under the uh, slab beam, then we need to uh, minus out. We need to cater for it. Then we need to know the uh, uh, that depth from the. Uh, it's normally it's a very fast based or structure uh, drawing, yeah. uh, general notes. All right. So that's uh, that's all we need. So start work on it. 
All right, so this is the uh, final project that we are aiming for, for this uh, particular tutorial. Uh, we are finding out these uh, cut off levels. So this is uh, the whole uh, block, or uh, I just mentioned for this, uh, this uh, banker. For this banker, the whole, uh, the whole building, uh, we got uh, uh, so many piles. I think, uh, some of them, I think many of them are same type. So I will extract out two or scenario or two cases. So our, the way I approach for this uh, tutorial, I'm going to go back to backwards. So uh, from completion to the going to the beginning. All right, so, so uh, let's start with the end side. Uh, that is better for uh, you guys to understand. So this is, as I mentioned earlier, this is the uh, final project that we are aiming for. We are looking for, we are working on this uh, cut off level. All right, so in order for us to uh, find out the, uh, work out the uh, cut off level, we will need a couple of drawings. Uh, for what reason we need it, we will need the uh, FFL and SSL, slab depth and beam uh, or war depth and pine cut depth and many services. If there is or they are, then we will need uh, this information on embedded depth. How much is this uh, embedded depth? So I think the better to do, or uh, uh, rather than you know explaining uh, here and there, uh, why don't we just uh, jump right into or uh, start work on it? All right. So I already prefer the files. Uh, yeah, this is the files. Okay, I have prefer. Then we're gonna start work on the column number one. Column number one. Where is the uh, column number one located? Column number one, we're gonna see um, the plan. This is a detail. Column number one is right here. We are only focused on this uh, highlighted area and are all the other directs that we are, uh, we're gonna neglect it. So column one is right here. All right, so uh, previous view here. This is the column number one. Then we also need to, we, we know uh, uh, where we are looking at. We, uh, we will need to uh, have a look at the uh, framing plan as well. This is a framing plan. So column one involves our here, this is a column one. It involves like uh, this, uh, there's our three beams. Um, we don't have to, we don't particularly look for our uh, the uh, width, or uh, you can forget about these. Uh, uh, you can forget about it right now. So, when it comes to calculating the uh, uh, our level, we only need to consider about the uh, depth. All right. So, so there are three beams connect to the uh, this uh, C one here. So, or uh, this uh, uh, here one beam six hundred depth and six hundred same thing. But here uh, below is a one point four two five. Beans. So, uh, so where is this being located? This is uh, our <clears throat> this is a colon C one. If we our uh, session out, it's gonna be uh, like it's gonna be like uh, here. Okay, we we cut the session. We will see like that. See here. So this is a six hundred being. I think I compile with this uh, uh, plan and a session. Okay. Right here, okay. This is a uh, column one, it's a column one, 800, 800 by 800 square columns. So, this is uh, 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 this side, so 600. Also, this side, also 600. But be careful that we have uh, below 1.425. This is the uh, in uh, that is uh, 1425, 1 1.425 meter. So, so let's just uh, walk out uh, our, our straight away. So I'm going to go this side. And this is column number. This column number is the column number one. All right. So column number one. Um. Yeah. I'm here. Okay. Serial number. I just put down like one. High number maybe BKR zero one. BK stand for banker. All right. This is uh, just uh, optional. Uh, whatever you you like it 
Uh, column number is uh, column number C1. The type of pine cup is uh, let's look at the uh, let's look at the, uh, the plan. Um, what is this? This is a two B four hundred. Two B four hundred. Okay, we go back two B four hundred. Two B four hundred. And FFL. So where do we are uh, get the FFL from? So that's well our uh, architect our architecture drawing comes in. So our uh, this is architecture drawing. The whole building is just you know, uh, it's like a warehouse. It's like a it's it's just a banker you know. So the whole it's like it's a flat. Uh, we don't even have the uh, finished floor level. Uh, finished floor level. So FFL, FFL and SSL is the same same thing. FFL finished floor level. And as a slant, our structure is slack level, so the same thing. So the uh, the uh, level is 105.025. So we're gonna put in here 105.025. So same thing, just uh, copy and uh, paste here. So slab depth for this slab depth, uh, slab depth, uh, where do we uh, get from? Slab depth is uh, from the uh, structure drawing. Our structure drawing, we can see the framing plan. Uh, where is the uh, framing plan? This is a framing plan. From here, you can see select thick net will be 225. So uh, we just write in 225. Select thick net. Uh, we are using here meter. That's why we need to uh, convert to meter point 225. Or and uh, the beam worry depth is gonna be our uh, how do we see our uh, so the beam right here so so we have a uh, three beam as i mentioned earlier but we need to we need to take only the uh, the biggest beam, and uh, the biggest beam is a uh, one four two five. So that means our uh, one point four two five, one point four two five uh, meter. So one point four two five meter. I got depth. So let's look at the pine cut depth. So let's find out pine cut depth. Um, what C one is a two B four hundred. So we know the type of uh type. We know the type is a two B four hundred. So what is the depth of this uh, this pine cut two B four hundred? We need to look the pine cut detail drawing. Pine cut detail drawing two B four hundred. Where is the two B four hundred? Yeah, two B four hundred. The depth is a uh, one meter. The depth is uh, one meter, and uh, that means just uh, we just put in one meter. How many surfaces are we don't have any how many surfaces? We just put in zero. So embedded depth, where do we get this embedded depth from? So our generally, we get from the uh, uh, general notes. It's normally it's a very fast page on the structure drawing. Here and um, right here. So this is the depth, 75 mm. So we're going to put in 75 mm, 0, uh, 0 embedded depth. Uh, 0 0.075 so okay let's walk what this out okay so how do we uh, walk out so all right that information required already uh given so uh, now is the time for us to walk it out so equation are uh, equation here then ffl minus then um then uh we're gonna we're gonna minus out this uh, beam depth then after that we're gonna minus out the pine cut depth then after that we're gonna plus it with the uh unbound depth there we go 102.675 so let's uh let us check whether it's correct or not mm, let's here let's put it here one the answer we got is uh, 107.025 107.025 is uh, right here it's correct here one oh 
here 102.675 all right so 102.675 okay that is for the uh, scenario one so now we go for another uh, uh, scenario two case two okay all right so our uh, second uh pile or uh, pine calf we're gonna walk on is uh, i'm I have chosen this uh, C13, which is uh, different from the uh, just now the uh, case one, scenario one. This is a C13 on the piling plan. This is a C13 on the uh, framing plan. And this is a C13 on the uh, final results. We are looking for this number, whether it's correct or not. So, um, okay, let me show you the. Uh, Rapid file as well. This is uh, this is uh, uh, a C thirteen, and if we cut out the session, it's gonna be right here. So all right. So I already copy out all these uh, 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 respected the uh, relevant corresponding uh, data values here. This FFL is a uh, uh, top level. Where we got from? We got from we got from architectural drawing. Yeah, 105.025. The whole slab is uh, 105.025. We don't have any uh, gradients at all. So, uh, where well, we so we are on the AutoCAD drawing. Then, 5.6 is depth of the beam. So, this is a uh, depth of the beam. Well, do we get this uh, depth from? So, we get from like uh, structure drawing from framey plan. All right, here, this is C13, 800 square colon. So, uh, this column is uh, sick on the uh, these uh, three wing here. Six hundred. This one six hundred. Six hundred. Six hundred. Everything is six hundred. That's why I put down here that depth of the wing is it's uh, 0 0.6, 600 millimeter. The pine cup depth. This is uh, where do we get from? So uh, this is from structure drawing. So pine cup detail is pine cup detail is uh, right here. 3B500, the uh, see here 1050, 1 meter and 50 mm. So uh, I already uh, put uh, put that in 1.05. Then and whether that, where do we get from? This is usually from a general notes, very first page in the uh, structure drawing. So right here, 75 mm. So our uh, so actually we are we already have what we need here so very simple so in terms of these are demonstration uh for the like uh, infographics you can see here what we what uh we just we just do the simple our uh, max here so or uh, this is the final level you just minus out the uh, beam depth right here then after that you just minus out the depth of the uh, pine cup then you just need to uh, add in our uh, for our embedded depth 75 mm according to the uh, structure drawing general notes all right so if you are uh, do simple uh are summing up, then you, we're gonna have the uh, column uh, tough out level 103.45. Okay, uh, for tutorial say I'm going to uh, uh, walk out for you. So we're gonna start with the serial number or uh, whatever you get. So two, maybe BK are 40s, then uh, this is C13, title pine 3P or uh, 350. And then uh, FFL is FFL SSL is the same. Control C and Control V. Then we have what? We have slab there also the same. Control C and Control V. And beam dex uh, 0 0.6, uh, 0 0.6. And uh, pine cup dex uh, 1.05. 1 and then MNE services. Uh, we don't have any MNE services. Embedded depth is like the same 0 0.75. Then we're gonna find out. Okay, just come here. So 103.45, 103.45 here, 103.45 here. So the one we submit back to consultant, 103.45. Okay, all right, so let's uh, recap here. So in order for us to, you know, uh, walk out the couple level, we will need the uh, couple of drawings. We will need the uh, architecture drawing whereby we can uh, find out the uh, finish floor levels then we will need the accept of the structure drawings 
well by we can find out the uh, depth of the uh, structure remember like a bean and uh, war and then a pine cup then we need to know also our amphetamine depth so for this particular case it's uh, 75 mm it is varies from project to project but for this particular project it's uh, 75 mm so we just uh, we just we just have to ensure we use the uh, approved construction drawings so once we have the drawing in hand, so what, what we do, so we just uh, kind of sketch out here. You don't have to or necessarily draw something like that. You can use simple pencil as long as you know what you're doing, that's fine. So uh, so after that, you have the values all here. Then you just put into your Excel files. So here, then what, what, uh, what we do is uh, we just use the, uh, you know, simple uh, sum me up. Yes, here from FFM, we just minus out the bean dead, we just minus out pine cut dead. Then, after that, we are we if we have our many services, make sure we minus out as well for embedded dead. So, for this embedded dead, it's not minus, it's a plus, it has to be go up again so that so embedded into the pine cut. So, so we can have this, uh, you know, cuff level reserves. So, our um, yeah so that's about it so uh let's call it a day or uh, i see you in the next time ciao